Hello, and welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. Thank you for tuning into this pick card love reading. This video is going to be centered around messages from your person. In this video, I want to stress the importance of taking what resonates and leaving the rest. This is going to be a collective pick a card, okay? So not every single message may resonate with you, but I do pray that you do find the messages that do resonate with you with your person. As you guys can see here, there is four piles to pick from. Each of the piles have a crystal. So I really want you to take some time here to tap into what crystal is calling you the most, which one speaks to you the most, okay? So we have one, two, three, and four, okay? I'm going to show you guys up close now each crystal, all right? I'm going to play some music in the background. Recording this video quite late. And if you would like to get in contact with me for your own personal and private love reading, my email will be in the box below, okay? And upon availability, I will get back to you via email only, all right? Only via email. All righty, let me show you guys. This is the crystal for pile number one, deck number one. This is the crystal for pile number two, deck number two. I'm going to play some angel music. This is the crystal for pile number three, deck number three. And this is the crystal for pile number four, deck number four. So what I'm going to do here is basically give you the messages as they come. I'm channeling the messages through the cards, through the energy. I have my white sage here. Everything is cleansed. Everything is ready to go. So when you are ready, the timestamps will be in the box below. You are, you are so more than welcome to pick more than one pile or deck if you want. That is entirely up to you, okay? So breathe in at this time. And breathe out. Let go of anxiety. Let go of fear. Let go of assumptions. Be willing and open to get the message from your person. All right, so when you're ready... I am going to start now with deck pile number one, okay? Okay, hello number one. This is going to be your messages from your person. I am going to channel the message via the cards. Um, if I do feel led to pull additional cards for additional messages, I will, all right? This is for number one. Let's see what your person has to say. Ace of Swords. Knave of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Queen of Wands. Codependency. Very soon. Finances and Career. A personal issue reaches resolution. Pray. You are loved. Okay, beautiful. So this is your message, okay, from your person. The connection we have is a connection I've never felt before. I know that I could have scared you with my behavior. I want you to know that I have strong feelings for you. I want you to know that when you are away from me, all I do is think about you. I want you to know that you are loved. All my love has been stored up for you. Every day and every night, I think about you. Do you think about me too? Do you ever wonder what I'm doing? Do you ever wonder where I am? Issues in my life that I felt distorted your perception of me. But what I want you to know is that I'm working on a better me. 
I'm working on my finances. I'm working to be a better person for you, for us. Can't you see that? There is no one else that compares to you. Not even if anyone tried. That person you thought I was with, I am no longer with. I'm waiting for you. I want to make a return. And while I'm away, while I, w I lay at night thinking about you, I want you to pray for me. I want you to pray for us. I want us to be together. I want us to have a reunion. Is there bad blood between us? I hope not. You're all I've ever wanted in a person. You've all I've ever dreamed of out of this world. I want you to know that when I'm ready, I will come back to you. But this time apart, I've needed. I have needed this space apart to work on myself. I have needed this time apart to be a better me. There are some things that I can't change right now, but I'm working on it. I'm not perfect. I never claim to be. And I'm sorry if I gave you the perception that I was perfect. But I'm not, and I'm trying. And I love you. Please know that you've all I've ever wanted. Please know that I am saving up for us. That car, that house, that dog you want, that cat you want, that dream vacation. I'm working on it for us. And I want you to know that I'm not going anywhere. And I may have issues and I may have flaws, but I will overcome this. I will make my way back to you. But maybe the timing right now is not quite right. Maybe right now we're best apart because I'm not good enough for you. And if you called me right now, I would tell you the truth. But I would be afraid that I would stop myself, that I would run and hide. But all I want to do when you talk to me, when you reach out to me, is tell you the truth. And I'm scared. I wish I could give you more. I wish I could offer you more. But right now, I can't. You and I both know that we are not in the place to have that dream. But make no doubt that if we're meant to be, it will happen one day. I know that we will be together again. You may not understand the burdens that I've carried. You may not know my, my whole story. You may not know where I've come from or what I've been through. But in due time, I will tell you what I've been through. And there has been some things in my past that have shaped my life that I feel you judge me for. And now that we're not talking you may do exactly that. You may judge me. And that's okay. I accept that. But what I want you to know is that I love you. And you know I love you, babe. Okay, so that was the channel message. And while I was channeling, I got Wheel of Fortune. And I got Ten of Wands. So this was exactly what your person was trying to tell you, was that... They have a lot of baggage, okay? They have a lot of things that I feel um, they feel that you could judge them for. And, you know, I feel it could be smoking. It could be, you know, lack of employment. It could be how they were raised, um, even down to belief system, religion. It could be a lot of things that I feel is just different. Like what you do is, is not what they do. And for some reason, all they want to do is relay this message to you 
that they are working on it. And I feel like this person wants to meet, wants to meet in the middle with you. I, I really feel like this person from their channel message wants to meet in the middle with you would like to actually, you know, have an open dialogue about how you guys can actually get along. Um, this could have been a friend for, I mean, for a handful of this could also, this could also be a friend. Um, maybe there was somebody who separated you guys or made you guys have a falling out. Um, but within the cards here, I feel that this person is trying to get to the bottom of why they've not been as successful as they want to. What I see here is that this person is very driven. This is a this is an individual who works incredibly hard and they may not show you this. They may not actually like show you like or complain about how much work they do or like how much they've had to overcome in their life. But um this definitely gives me vibes of somebody who could be like an immigrant, like from an immigrant family, like like I'm a, like myself, um, you know, maybe has had to go to a different country or, you know, maybe just moved and doesn't really know like how to, you know, uh be at the top of the ladder, so to speak. It, it, this gives me the impression that this person is trying to like blend in, is trying to be that, you know, superstar for you, that you're everything. And I feel like this person has not told you a lot of things about like how they were raised or their family or what they want to do for a living. Um, maybe for a couple of you, I'm getting this energy of like a uh, I'm hearing mathematics, I'm hearing electrician, I'm hearing engineering. So maybe this person is, is working on a skill or a craft or a career or getting a degree right now that's really, really hard. And maybe they're not really like showing you how hard it's actually been for them. Maybe they're trying to work on their finances, work on their career. So this is an individual, make no mistake, this is your person. I mean, if this is resonating with you, this is definitely somebody I feel here feel here who does work hard. You know, maybe um for a couple of you, this person parties a lot and you know um has a different persona on social media. But I feel like when you get down to it, this is somebody who works incredibly hard. And this is definitely somebody I see here who wants to offer you something solid, but they may have not conveyed this in the right way. So what they're gonna want to do I'm seeing here in the near future is actually show you um, more of their vulnerable side. You know, that's what I'm getting here. Like this could be somebody who um, may have a hard time opening up to you. Maybe you in the past, you've tried to talk to this person, try to have a, a conversation with this person. And it's like, you can't even get through to them. You know, it's like you're talking to a brick wall. And I feel like this person knows that, okay, your person knows that they've been stubborn, that they've been holding back a lot of things they need to tell tell you that I feel if you knew it would make more sense. Like it's almost like the missing puzzle pieces to the story, if you will. So there definitely is a lot of things that this person I feel uh, needs to express to you and tell you, but maybe they're just too shy at this moment. Okay. But the reality is, is that they do want to be that perfect person for you. You know, they do want to be somebody that that, that they can depend on, that you can depend on. Um, so the reality here is that this person, look at that, finances and career. Okay, so this is definitely an individual here who's working back to back. Like this could even be somebody who's working like nonstop shifts or, you know, has a side hustle. Maybe this person is very artistic or um, likes to kind of dive into um, music or writing. I'm even hearing like video games, like, like, like making computer games or trying to you know, code, you know, this is somebody who I feel could be a genius. Like this is a person who's ex ex incredibly smart, but maybe on the outside, you would never know, or they just don't really show that side of them. But it feels like around their family, they're kind of more um, reserved. And I feel they're more show this energy of, you know, building a foundation, you know, being an upstanding woman or man. Okay. But maybe around certain friends or stuff like that, it switches up. Okay. So this is definitely an individual I feel here who um, has the potential to be very successful. This is your person I'm reading for. This is definitely an individual here who I feel is very unique and can definitely offer something to the world that no one's ever seen before. I want to pull two more cards here and I'm going to go ahead and plug in my phone real quick. Because the plug came out and I'm back.
Okay, I'm going to pull two cards here. The swords. One more card here. So this person wants you to know that they're trying to be a better person. I also feel for a good amount of you that, that if this person was very immature in spirit, they also know that. Um, it's taken them some time, I feel, to come around, but they do realize, okay? Now they definitely see that they were immature, okay? They could have been this kind of person who didn't want to hear what you had to say, maybe was not the nicest to you, you know, not very warm. But it's like around their family and around certain people, they are that way. So this person could feel like a little insecure, okay, about, you know, your perception of what a good boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse should be. And maybe they don't feel, maybe they feel they don't fit that criteria. So they're trying to work on themselves to fix that criteria. So if this, if so, if you're not hearing from this person, they're very busy. Okay? They're, they're extremely busy. Two of swords, six of pentacles, ten of wands. Yeah, they have a lot of responsibilities. A lot of response. I'm, I'm also hearing the phrase. I'm also hearing the phrase here. A lot of, a lot of bills. Okay, this person could have a lot of bills for some reason. Maybe they, they, you know, they maybe they help other people in their family, or they have children. It's like this person has a lot on their plate, and maybe they don't tell you this. Okay, maybe for a couple of you, this person's not really letting you in on like the whole you know, nine yards. I mean, for a couple of you, this person maybe is was married and got divorced, or this person could be a single parent and didn't tell you. So in, in the more extreme case, it's like they're hiding like literally who they are, or like they are around because they're afraid of being judged. Okay. There are, this person is definitely afraid of being judged, but they want to have this equal give and take with you. This is what I feel, um, deck number one, pound number one, this is your person's goal. Okay. Your person's goal here is to have the equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. They know that in order to get back with you and talk to you, communicate with you, they need to be giving and matching up what you've given them. So for real, if this was somebody who you felt like you were you were bending over backwards and you were texting this person a lot, you know, trying to get this person to come out a lot, and they just didn't want to for some reason, they just never like really um, you know, overextend themselves. I feel like now this person is seeing that, you know, it's like now this person's looking back and like, wow, you know, I, I could have done more. Like, yes, I was struggling. Yes, I was under pressure. But you know what? I could have done more. This is another message I'm feeling for this person. Okay, this person's now saying, I could have done more. Okay, I could have I could have used my time more wisely. The only chink in the chain here is that this person may not actually say it. Okay, this per that's what I'm saying. This person is it, it, through energetically, they feel this, but they may not actually uh, vocalize this to you. You know, all this time they may have not actually said to you out of their mouth, "Hey, I'm I'm struggling. Hey, I'm I'm busy." And and to you, it's like it's just a simple a simple couple of words. Like for you, it's like you could have just told me, you know, what the deal was, but. I feel this person definitely, definitely let you make your own conclusion, which was the wrong move. It's like this person kind of made you feel like you had to think something horrible when in reality it could have been just everyday things or just not being able to really juggle the connection. You know, this person could be younger than you. This person could be older than you. I do feel a little bit of a an age gap for a good amount of you. This person could be uh, older or younger than you, okay? And I'm also hearing the word immature. So you could have seen this person as immature or just not ready, okay? Just not ready for either, you know, a real friendship or a real romantic relationship. So this person is working on their pentacles. This person is working on every single one of their pentacles, Okay, they're working on it. And this is not just about money. This is about skill set, mindset, mentality, routine, habits. So this person is going to be like brand new. Like basically when this person comes back and you guys talk again, this is going to be a, a completely different person. This person is totally going to level up. Like you, you wouldn't even believe. Okay. So I feel this person has a surprise for you. I feel this person really wants to let you into their world, but it's, it's taking them some time. Okay. They, they, maybe they have trust issues as well. 
I'm picking up here. They could have trust issues. OK, but they really do want very soon. OK, very soon. This person does want to come back in your life and make a, a big, big, big appearance. OK. This is a praying person. This is somebody who prays for you. They want you to also pray for them. They want you to, guys to pray for your connection. This person can be very spiritual as well. Not for all of you, but I feel for a good amount of you, this person is spiritual or religious or both. OK. Kind of go hand in hand sometimes, all right? You know, could could attend church, attend mass, something like that. You know, seminars, like very like involved. Or you could be that kind of person where you attend certain things, you know, you read certain books, you know, you're very spiritual, okay? And the card says a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. So I'm seeing all signs here for the record. I'm seeing every single sign here. I'm not seeing any specific sign that I, that's just pointing out. I'm seeing every so every zodiac sign is here. And they want you to know that if there was unresolved issues, they will be resolved. Okay? That is their 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 main message. Besides the equal balance, you know, them being more mature, them being more forthright with you, telling you what's going on, what the hell's going on, they also want you to know that <clears throat> want you to know, excuse me, that a resolution is going to be within reach. Okay. And all they want you to do here, I feel is just pray like, like literally just pray, be hopeful, be positive. You know, I feel this person's message is also saying to you, this burden is not yours. This burden is mine. Like my problems are my problems, but what I want you to do, if you can do anything is just pray is be positive, you know, connect with source about us. So this person could have brought up marriage to you, could have brought up moving together with you, moving in. And I feel this person maybe could have shortchanged that. This person could have given given a lot of promises, but it didn't, you know, it, it wasn't adding up. This, this is the kind of person I feel here who wanted to be and hold to every promise they told you, but that's not what happened, okay? And this person's also apologizing. Your person is apologizing for that. They They understand now that it's not okay to fill your head up with wishes that they can't grant, that they can't fulfill for you. Okay. So this person is regretful. This person is full remorse. This is definitely a person who wants to change, wants to see change within the dynamic. Okay. Within you and them, they want you to be a better person. They want to be a better person. And then their philosophy is okay. If I'm better, you're, you're, you know, keep getting better. We're going to be both better together. Like together when I come back, we're going to be both even better. So this person I feel is sorry. They're definitely sorry. And they want the wheel of fortune to turn in their favor. They're waiting for the wheel of fortune to turn in their favor. This is a this is their, your person. Okay, your person is waiting for the perfect time, I feel, to come back here. Your person is really waiting. And, and like I said, the channel message right now, okay, right now is, is not like the time. So the clear message I'm getting here for you, deck pile number one is they feel like right now is not the right time. They feel that they have to mature more. They have more work to do. Okay. But they don't want you to forget about them. They don't want, they don't really want you to just throw them a towel. But at the same time, they're letting you know that my burdens, 10 of wands, my burdens, my issues, my problems are mine and not yours. And so I feel this person is, is pretty neutral. Okay. I feel this person is, is pretty open. Um, if you were to move on, if you thought about moving on, if you told this person, Hey, I'm going to move on, forget you. I feel like this person would understand honest to God, like this person, I just heard the word New York. Okay. That could be of some significance to somebody watching. I just heard the word of the, uh, I just heard New York in the background. So maybe like this, I just feel this person would understand. This person would understand if you moved on. Okay. That is your message deck pile number one. Um, if you picked any other deck, please feel free to fast forward to any other uh, timestamp now. I hope you did enjoy this message. Um, so for sure, this person is sorry. Um, this person's letting you know that they're working on themselves and that, you know, if you did move on, um, they would not, uh, be angry with you. 
they would understand. But in the meantime, they want you to pray for them. They want you to send them good energy and, um, you know, hope for the best. Okay. Beautiful reading. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. All righty. Deck pile number two. Step on down. Hello. So what I'm going to do now is the channel message first. I'm going to convey the channel message through the cards. And then if I need to pull any um, bonus cards for further messages or interpretation, I will. Okay. This is your crystal for deck and pile number two. Okay. All right. Ten of Wands, Knight of Swords, put some sage here. Judgment. Um, all of a sudden, I feel a lot of anxiety, okay? A lot of anxiety. So if your person was very nervous around you, very jittery. This is your person. Okay. Uh, three of swords reversed. Wow. You deserve love. Love yourself first. Romantic feelings. Send love. Divine timing. Be bold and make the first move. Okay. I'm going to hold two more cards here. Well, let's pull two more cards. Deck pile number two, please. The Hermit. This is your channel message. Four Pentacles. Okay. Okay, this is your channel message. I am sorry. I am so sorry for telling you a lie. You are an amazing person. I have never in my life met anybody like you. When I first saw you, I couldn't take my eyes off of you. I thought that you were so sexy. Please understand that I am my own person. Please understand that I have sexual needs too. Was I ever good enough for you? I sit and I wonder, what could I do to make you happy? Did I ever make you truly happy? I want to feel your love so bad. But now you're gone. I look for you everywhere. My friends talk about you. I tell them to shut up and forget about it. But my friends always bring you up to me. Do you know that I you're so hot? Why don't you call me? Why don't you text me? Because I want that. I may not have much to offer, but you know I love you. Didn't you know? Yeah, I lied every now and then, but I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to hurt you. And sometimes I just drink my pain away. I sit in my sofa and I drink the pain away. I can't stand the thought of you with somebody else. I get so angry. I want to smash the walls. I want to cry out to God. I want to hurt someone. I miss you so bad. If you're wondering, my life is good, mommy. My life is good. 
and everything in my life has been okay. But the only problem is you're missing. You're missing from my life. I need you back. Can't you see that? If I cheated, if your person cheated, I apologize. If I cheated, it's my bad. I should have told you I had somebody else. But I couldn't do that. I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't want to play with your heart. I'm not that kind of person. You did something to me. You took over my life. Since you've been gone, everything is about you, 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 you. And all my friends drag me. All my friends make fun of me because you're not with me anymore. You're gone. And I can't find you. I can't even text you. I can't. I'm blocked. Your person blocked. Okay. I'm blocked. I can't even get to you. This is bullshit. And you wonder why I'm so angry. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Take me back now. I can't go another day without you. I can't sleep at night without seeing your face. You're haunting me. Why are you haunting me? You're my soulmate. You're my love. You're my twin flame. I know it. You are my other half. And I fucked up and I'm sorry. Okay, that's a channel message. Wow, okay. That was channel that was channel message. All right. So <laughs> All right. So deck pile number 2. <laughs> wow. Okay. I can catch my breath there. All right. So the channel message for deck pile number 2. My goodness. All right. So your person really has a very, very high sex drive for you. They want you to know that they are like in love with you. Your body is like a, a statue. They think you're so incredible. I'm going to pull two cards over here. Okay. <laughs> Your person has so much passion. Number two, so much passion. This could be an Aries. This could be a Gemini. It doesn't have to be these signs, but this could be a Gemini, Aries. This person, could, there could have been a, um, ooh, okay. Ooh, I see what's going on here. Um, There could have been, yeah, this person has a very, very, this person's very connected to you, okay? Extremely connected to you with the high priestess. <laughs> with the high priestess, this person can like almost see you like, Wow. Like they just, they can feel you. They can pick up on your energy. Um, this feels like a twin flame to me. This feels like twin flame to me. Um, but your person has a lot of maturing to do. Like this is your twin flame, but this person I feel uh, has a very high sex drive when it comes to you. And it's kind of hard to like contain. So with the Empress card, there could have been a false, there could have been a, um, a pregnancy, like false flag. Maybe you thought you were pregnant, or maybe if you're the cross watcher watching, you thought you got this person pregnant. Um, their message I feel here to you, the other message I want to say to you from your person here is that they want to come out of hiding, but they really screwed up. <laughs> they like they really screwed up with you or they feel they screwed up with you okay they feel they screwed up with you and they're not sure how to come back in your life they don't this person i feel here is not sure if you take them back um i get for a lot of you that this person is assuming that you have other love suitors that you are like dating like the whole town like you're so attractive to them that like you're just taken by everybody. Like everybody wants to have a piece of you. And so the vibe this person gives me is that they don't, they don't fit in your world anymore. They're not, they're not fitting in your world. Okay. They don't see that. They don't see where they fit in. They don't see where they fit in. Okay. Three more cards here. So they want you to know that they are watching you. They are so-called stalking you um, heavily, heavily. They love your photographs. If you have an Instagram, they're always on your Instagram. If you block them, 
They have other people looking at their your account for them. They have ways. I'm hearing they have ways to look at your profiles. If you block them, if you block their number, they have backup numbers. They have backup apps. Okay. They want you to know that. So the message is they want you to know that they are watching you. They can't forget about you. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Yes. So this person sees you as very abundant. Okay. This per your person sees you as very, very abundant. It's it's almost like too abundant, like the Empress. Wow. So yes, this is definitely um twin flame divine uh connection here because the Empress and the Emperor a lot of times does signify twin flame energy, okay, or soulmate energy. So they so your person sees you as the Empress, they see you as fertile, okay, beautiful. And if you're a guy watching for a female, they see you as very abundant, okay, stable, hardworking. Queen of Pentacles, yes. So they're not even sure if you would even accept them. They feel that they've messed up so bad that it's kind of like over. To be honest with you, this person thinks it's over. They think that you're just, that you don't even care. You don't even care. Yeah, Ten of Wands, look at that. So this person wants you to know that they still have romantic feelings for you. Like their romantic feelings have not changed at all. Their attraction to you has not changed at all. And with the Ten of Wands, they want to drop this burden. You know, more than anything, they really want to drop this burden they have with you. But I think for a lot of you, they have not, they have not apologized. They have not actually come forward and apologized to you. So this person is very concerned that if they were to step forward, that it wouldn't be good enough. That you would be so bashed with, with jewels and money and love suitors and opportunities that whatever they offer you would be just like crumbs. It wouldn't be anything significant. Okay. So this person I feel here is waiting for you to message them. Yes. Three of wands in the channel message. I also picked that up as well. Okay. This, your person is waiting for you to reach out to them. And I feel for a lot of you, you're like, why would I ever do that? This person is a player. This person betrayed my trust. And that's why they're saying, you know, what am I to you? So for a good amount of you, this is your twin flame, but your twin flame, I feel here, is not as awakened as you, it's not as, it's not as mature as you, and they know that to some degree, not entirely, but they do know that you are like at a, a different level, like mentally than they are, but they still want to be in your life, okay? Queen of Cups, the High Priestess. So this person, I feel, can come in your dreams. They want you to know that they are like around you. They do go in your dreams. They are sending you um, sexual energy. Like if this is a water sign, oh, honey, if this is the Pisces, okay, I'm getting strong Pisces energy. If this is definitely, a, especially if it's a Pisces, this person is sending you sexual energy. This person, I feel, um, pleases themselves to you. So they want you to know that like, if you ever feel some kind of way, it's because they are thinking like in that way about you while they please themselves because they really, really are very attracted to you. So it's like, if you're with someone else, they still want you to know, but they are still thinking about you in that way. And if you were to reach out, they would still be there. You know, they would still come through. Okay. This could be a Virgo with the Hermit Major Arcana. I feel Leo energy. Pisces energy, um, could be a little bit Scorpio, not getting too much Scorpio, but it could be maybe your Scorpio watching. Okay. It could be any Zodiac sign here. Um, Leo, especially. So this is just energy I'm picking up in general. Okay. So in divine timing, divine timing is what this person's waiting on. This person's waiting on you. You know, this person I, I really feel is waiting on you. And their message to you is if you reached out, they would definitely answer. If you don't have them blocked, if you, you know, if, if apologies go both ways, they want you to know that they would be very, 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 very open to being back in your life. Okay. And, and they do want you to know that they are sending you love. Exactly. Sending love. So the message that they want to, they also want to tell you that they are sending you love. They are sending you a lot of love because they do love you. They do see a future with you, but they think that, they think it's over. Okay. They think that it's, it's completely done. Okay. They feel, they feel, they feel it's over. They messed up. They, they, you know, they didn't really give a big enough offer at the time. You know, they think you have other people. 
this person, your person, thinks you have other people. Yes, and they're heartbroken. This person wants you to know, three of swords, they're heartbroken. Your person is heartbroken, okay? If there was a pregnancy scare or there was conversation about getting pregnant, having a family, getting married, they think about this often. They think about having a child with you often, day and night. Like I said, day and night. I keep hearing day and night, day and night, day and night. So this person could have insomnia. You could have insomnia, and that's why this person's, I feel, their energy is still around you. Okay. Lack of balance, temperance, and the eight of cups. Right. So they think you've walked away eight of cups. So they want you to know that their, their heartbreak is stemming from the fact that you have walked away because something went horribly wrong. Okay. But this person I feel is a soulmate or a divine counterpart to you, but they have a lot of, um, I feel just self-care, healing, introspection, you know, like down in the, in the dirty dumps work, like getting dirty, you know, like really going down and, and looking at yourself and not wanting to just ignore it. Like you really looking at yourself in the mirror, you know, in your quiet time and, and putting in that hard work. And that's where they're at right now. They're getting ready to do that hard work. Okay. All right. Pile number two, deck number two, this is your messages from your person. This person is sad over you and they want you to know that. Okay. I hope this really helped. All righty. And if you have picked any additional pile, um, feel free to go to a timestamp now. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell. Okay? I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. Okay. Do, 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 do. Moving on to pile number three. Pile number three, come on down. So what I'm going to do first, pile number three. Pile number three. What I'm going to be doing first is laying out the cards and conveying the channel message through the cards from your person. I feel a lot of heat already. This could be a twin flame, okay? I feel this heat already. Whew! I can feel the heat already off these cards. I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel it. Okay. Let's get into it. Here's your crystal. Deck pile number three. Here's your crystal. Okay. Two of pentacles. So first, I'm going to lay out all the cards and give you a channel message. If I have to pull additional cards, additional messages, I will. Okay. Two of pentacles, six of cups. Oh, yeah. Temperance. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Right off the bat. Strong energy. The star reverse, make the effort. Make the effort. Trust. Deception in reverse. Work through your fears. Patience. Love yourself. Okay. Here's your channel message, deck pile number three. Baby, I love you so much. Where have you been? I've been missing you. Do you still think about me? Do you ever think about me? I'm really worried that I never crossed your mind. I'm really worried that we're never going to have the love like we used to have with each other. I tried. I really did. I'm sorry that I took our love for granted. All the effort, all the time, all the money that you put into our connection, I appreciate that. I'm forever grateful, and because of you, I've changed. I want you to know that. Because of you, I have changed. I'm a better person. I know that you may not wait for me. I know that the time is up. I know this. And it's shocking that I'm telling you this, but I do know that you're done with me. I do know that you have other people that want to love you like I loved you. 
you're so amazing. You're so good looking. How can I make this right? How can I tell you that I'm sorry? What else can I do to convince you that I love you? Why was I so blind? Why was I so stupid when I was with you? Why did I ignore you? Why did I push you away? It's all my fault. And I'm sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I never made I never wanted you to ever look another direction and walk away. But maybe now it's too late. Maybe now I don't get a second chance. You gave your all. And I didn't give enough. I didn't do enough. I didn't say enough. I didn't tell you how I really felt because I was scared. And I know it's not an excuse, but at the time, I was talking to somebody else. Maybe you were too. But I regret that now. I regret not telling you that I was open to other people. My soul was crying out for you. I knew that you were too good for me. I wasn't true to myself. I wasn't true to how I felt and I apologize. Please forgive me. If I never see you again, if we never talk again, just know that I care about you and I will always care about you. The next person who has you better keep you because you deserve the grandiose love that you've always wanted. Deluxe love, never ending love, everlasting love. You deserve that. And I fell short. And now I see that. Ain't it funny how when you lose somebody, you care more? When you lose something that's so precious to you, you look back and say, damn, I was a fool. I was an idiot. That's how I feel right now. Like, damn, I really messed up. But I want to make it up to you. I got something for you. See, I have been keeping the secret for a while, but I want to marry you. I want to be with you. And I may never be able to say it because you'll reject me. You push me away. You play with my heart and I play with yours, but I still want you. I will always want you. And it's messed up that I can't have you. It's messed up that I can't see you. You're far away. You're not with me. And now I'm confused. Now I'm lost. I need to know the truth. I search for the truth everywhere. And other people. I ask other people about you. But I should be asking you myself. I should go to you and ask you myself, do you love me? Do you want to marry me? But I can't do it because I'm afraid. I'm afraid that you're going to turn me down and everything that I've ever dreamed of will be shattered before my eyes. There was things that I really wanted to tell you and express to you, but I wasn't man or woman enough to tell you. I didn't have the strength to tell you that I was seeing somebody else. I didn't have the strength to tell you that I had my heart with somebody else. Temporarily, it was fun, but it was not worth it. And I regret the day that I let you walk away and leave my side. And not be as close to me as you were before. I regret that. Of course I do. I regret that. I regret it. But 
can you give us a second chance? Can you, can you do it? Can you find it in your heart to give me another chance? That's what I'm asking you. That's what I'm telling you. Can you come back to me? Leave those people behind. Leave all those people who want you. I want you. Fuck them. I want you. Leave them, leave them alone. Don't talk to them. I'm what you want. I am what you need. I will always love you. Don't for a second regret that. Don't for a second forget that I love you. I was not balanced. I was not in my right mind to handle you. I didn't have it all figured out. I wish I did, but I didn't. And I'm sorry. Can we start again? Can we start over? Is there any hope left for us? That's all I'm asking. Okay. That's a channel message. Okay. So now the channel message is done. All right. So deck pile number three, when your channel message, there is a lot of regret here. Okay. Your person has a lot of regret in their heart. They see how well love yourself, how well you're taking care of yourself. This person sees how you've grown, how amazing you are. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. Maybe you have your own business. Maybe you have your own YouTube channel or, you know, you're popular on Instagram. I feel that you're a very beautiful person. You, the viewer, you're a very beautiful person. And your person is really thinking that you are talk of the town that everybody wants you. And I do feel like saying here, um, if you feel like watching pal two, you can watch pal two as well, because I feel pal two, um, could connect to this reading as well. Okay. So if you want to watch pal two and then watch pal three, you're, you're more than welcome to, but I definitely feel here like this person is from your past. Okay. Six of cups. This is a person from your past and they really want a place in your life. They really want to, I feel, have a comeback with you. Um, but they feel that your heart is closed, okay? Your person can definitely feel that your heart is closed and no longer open to something more serious. This could have been because of cheating. This could have been because of deception, lies, manipulation. But I feel this person um, is genuinely wanting to have a new beginning with you and make the effort make the effort because they do see how valuable you are. And your person wants to tell you in, in this message here that they regret that they were not um, showing you how amazing you are. This person regrets not showing you how valuable of a woman or man you actually were when they had you. And this person is really feeling that it's a little bit too late. Like what they did was not enough and that you are balancing your life right now. You know, you're balancing career, you're balancing home life, you're balancing your personal time. Like you're really flourishing in your own gifts, your own desires. You know, it's, it's like this person is watching your dreams come true. If there was a certain dream that, or goal that you told this person about, this person is so proud of you. And this person is actually seeing how amazing you are now. Now that you are accomplishing your goals, now that you are going out here and being bold and, you know, speaking your mind, it's like this person wants to commend you. So if they can give you any message, it's that they respect you. The message they can give, they want to give you is that they respect you. They applaud you. They commend you. You're an inspiration to this person. Okay. Your person, you are an inspiration to them because they see how strong you are. They see how willing you are to go get what you want, chase after your dreams. You or this person could be a fire sign, okay, with a temperance card, major arcana. So this person is seeing how you're a go-getter, okay? You're not, you don't settle. And if you were shy before, you had issues in the past, it's like now you are moving on up, okay? And this person feels like they're being left behind. So what they want you to do is, con is to continue to love yourself. They love how you take care of yourself. They love how you look. They love how you have integrity and self-respect. And they really want to commend you for that, okay? 
because I feel this person is saying that a lot of people out here um, that, they, that they, maybe they were they were dealing with in the past didn't have that. And like when they met you, you had something special. You were you were unique. You were different. You know, they they show you show them what a man or woman you know really should be. Maybe you're you know somebody who you know, can cook and clean and, you know, have your own business and, you know, go out here and do charity. Like, like you're somebody who can wear all different hats, you know, the jack of all trades here. And this person is like looking back in awe, like, wow, this person is really doing that. Like, wow. Like I am just in awe. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> I say just strong honey. So this, this person is like, I have changed my ways. You know, one of the messages that they want to give to you is that they've changed their ways, deception in reverse. Okay. They have turned a different leaf, um, whether you see it or not, they're, they're in the process right now of not being a player, not juggling you and somebody else. And like they said, it could be too late, but this person I feel still has a lot of hope. Okay. A lot of hope. Other piles had different messages, but in your pile, it's very clear to me that this person would make the effort if they could, if they had, you know, the kahunas to, they would definitely want to make that clear to you that they see your value and that if they didn't show you that they cared before, they apologize and that they want to prove that to you. But they do feel like you are um, not available. OK, this person does not see you as available. They see you as taken. They see you as either taken like in a, in a any relationship or dating other people. And not them, okay? Not them. I feel like to pull two cards here, okay? Deck pile number three. Yes, commitment, okay? The Hierophant. Yes, Ten of Cups, Page of Swords. Oh my goodness, okay? They want you to know that they're, they want you to know that they are watching you. They are, they're watching you blossom. This person, your person is watching you blossom. They're watching you succeed. They're cheering you on. This person is cheering you on. So if you thought that they were watching you for malicious reasons, not true. They're actually like, they feel like they have to protect you in a way. They feel like they have to kind of like look out for you. Maybe you have people that were haters or jealous of you. So this person's actually putting in a good word for you. If this, if your person was at a place of work or school setting or work setting, this person actually was putting in a good word for you all along. And you probably didn't even know. Okay. This person was like, wow, so-and-so is this. So, like, like they were literally boosting you up to the extreme, like really trying to highlight how amazing you are. So very touching, very beautiful here. This person is really putting in a good word for you. So if, even if you guys are not romantic in the future, um, this is a, this is a good friend. Okay. This is a person that you want to be friends with because this person will promote you. This person will put you in places that you could not be put, you could not put, um, you cannot be put in by yourself. Like maybe this person is a business owner. This person of yours could either be, um, could also have an entrepreneur spirit or like very, um, popular. I want to say, so maybe this person is like, if there was a, a job or maybe, maybe they even helped you, you know, get your business. It's something like that where this person, uh, would be able to, I feel, put in a good word for you, you know, put you in places that, you can, you can thrive. Okay. So this person is open to friendship. I feel here as well. They want to relay the message to you that they're open to friendship. If we, if you guys can't be lovers, they're open to, you know, being friends of benefits. I also want to keep it real. You know, they, they're saying friends of benefits, but also, you know, friends, you know, not sexual, just, just friends, like helping each other out, you know, being the inspiration to each other. Okay. And this person sees you as a 10 of cups. So your person sees you as a 10 of cups. They think that you are amazing and they really want to, I feel, help you and like, you know, boost you, like, like really support you energetically, spiritually, romantically, physically. It's like this person wants to be that for you, but um, maybe this person's not really expressing that. Okay. I feel this is the energy of somebody who is daydreaming about it, you know, thinking about it in their head, but they're not actually doing it. Okay. But this is what they are thinking about. They are thinking about, um, how they can get you back. Okay. So they want you to know six of cups that with a deception card reverse that they want to have your trust. Okay. Tr the trust card came out too. 
okay? This person wants to have your trust. This person wants to earn your trust back um, in due time, okay? They're ready to make the effort, all right? They are, they're ready to make the effort, and they want you to continue to work through your fears and love yourself first. So this is somebody who I feel has very high self-esteem, um, this is not somebody who I feel would encourage you to not be the best version of yourself. So like I said, if this doesn't work out romantically, this could be a friend or this could be somebody who I feel you could be friends with in the future because um, they do have um, love for you in their heart. You know, genuinely, they do. They do care about you. This is a person who I feel does care about you. OK, and if it is romantic, they do see, you know, a high level of commitment. Okay, this is really what they want. You know, if you guys were lovers before, this is the truth. You know, the truth is they really want you in this way, you know, marriage, you know, moving in together, you know, having children one day, maybe. But um, this is a this is a person who I feel also has a lot going for themselves, you know. This could be a power couple. You and this person could have been a power couple or will be a power couple, I feel here. You know, lots of, you know, good self-esteem, self-care, self-love, no attitude issues, you know, no, no arguments. Like it's going to get to a point where if this person comes back around, there's not going to be any issues like, like petty issues that that's done. That's over with. Okay. So this person wants you to know that they are watching you. Um, and not to like, I feel put a knife in your back or hurt you. They actually just love what you do. They love how you are. They just love everything about you and they want to support your dreams. Okay. Beautiful pile number three, deck number three, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to tap the bell and subscribe. And if you picked any other pile, you are more than welcome to fast forward to that pile and that timestamp right now. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. All the best to you and this person. Good energy here. Good, good energy. All right. Love it. All right. Hello, deck pile number four. Come on down. All right. This is your crystal deck pile number four. You got the uh, clear quartz heart. This cute little heart here. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. I love this crystal. Okay, this is pile deck number four. What I'm going to do is lay out all the cards and give you your channeled message first with the energy from the cards. And if I have to pull additional cards for more messages, I will to support the message from your person to you. Okay. Hope you enjoy. Let's get into it right now. All right. Deck num number four, number four, number four, number four. Three of Pentacles, King of Cups. Okay. This is definitely a water sign. You can be a water sign. This person can be a water sign. Seven of Cups, Cup, 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 yep. Okay. Eight of Wands. True Love. True Love. Nice energy already. I like this. Attraction. Attraction. Very attracted. Release Your Ex. The End of a Tough Cycle Approaches, Full Moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches, coming to a close. Acceptance. Acceptance. And ask for a sign. I'm going to go ahead and pull another card I feel led to here with the Indigo Angel Oracle card deck. I'm going to pull one more card before I give you your channel message. Okay, number four, Spirit, one more card, please. Thank you for my viewers. One more card, please, for number four. Okay. Got, we got two cards. I'll take it. I'll take it. Share your wisdom, number four. And you already know. Keep in mind, both people are wearing a purple, okay, crown chakra. My goodness. Look at the synchronicity. Wow. Wow, okay. Let's get into the channel message right now, okay? Number four, this is your channel message. <clears throat> I messed up, didn't I? I messed up bad. There's so many things I want to tell you, my love. There's so many things I want you to know about me. 
that I'm too afraid to let you know right now. I'm in deep. I'm in so deep. I'm in love with you. And I've tried so hard to shake this feeling. I've tried to drown you out every chance I got. I can't lie. I think you're too good for me. I think that you are better off without me. I don't know what you ever saw in me. Why did you choose me? Why did you talk to me? Why did you love me? Why did you give me a chance when I messed it up? You gave me so many chances, chance after chance after chance, and I messed it up. But I got it bad. Baby, I got it so bad for you. I miss you every day. Every day I feel you next to me, holding me, touching me, kissing me. We have a telepathic connection, you know. You're meant for me, I'm meant for you. But somewhere along the way, we lost our way. Some way down this beaten path, we lost our way. Shit hit the fan. And I'm never the same. Since you came into my life, I was never the same. I'll admit, I looked for you and other people. But they can't compare to you. I try to drown out my fears and my anxiety and my sorrow, but it didn't work. It hasn't worked. What I want you to know is that I'm coming back. Me and more, I'm coming back for you because I love you. And all of this is just a simple misunderstanding. I think we're meant to be. We should give it another chance. I'm not perfect. No one is. But I am made just for you. And you are made just for me. And I feel so happy when I'm with you. That smile that I have with you was real. You light my world. You make me so happy. and. If I could see you again, I would be so happy and honored to be that person for you. You are my true love. I'm sure of it now. The distance between us has shown me that you are my true love. You are everything that I'm looking for in a partner. And I want to make it up to you. I am working very hard, my love, to prove to you how much I do love you. I may have been standoffish. I may have told a few lies. But I was only trying to protect myself. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to disrespect you. But things happened. Bad things happened when you left me. When I left you. And now it's time for us to come back together. It's time for us to have a new beginning. Once and for all. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, number four, that's your channel message. All right, beautiful. So this person, um, I think has a strategy, okay? Your person has a strategy because you are their true love. Um, out of all the piles here, I definitely think that you and this person have the most potential to actually a solid relationship, a solid couple, a solid partnership, team players to each other. I do feel that because with the eight of wands, we have the card of communication. Beautiful. So number four, your person is going to be reaching out to you very, very soon. Okay. If this person is blocked, you need to unblock them. If this person, uh, 
and you had a scuffle, had a fight, maybe physical or verbal. I'm seeing physical for a couple of you. It got, it got that bad where it could have been physical. And that's what the channel message I feel was pointing to with that, you know, you're, when you guys were at odds, but the arguments were so heated, so intense, so bad that it's like things went completely left field. Okay. And the channel message, I was getting that. Okay. And the channel message, I was definitely getting the vibe that there was a lot of arguments between you and this person. Okay. So this person, their message to you is that they want to come back. They are making, they are coming back to you. Okay. They, they are going to be reaching out to you very, 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 very soon. They can't live without you. Okay. This person can be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this person's love for you, I feel so pure and so strong. I mean, uh, really, this person is just in awe of your beauty, in awe of your your handsomeness, okay, vice versa. And this person wants you to, I feel, keep an open mind for them, keep an open space for them. Um, if you don't want this person, I feel this person will be shattered. This person will be very, very disappointed in themselves. They wouldn't place any blame on you if you walked away or you found somebody else. But this person would definitely be in shambles for a good amount of time. And I think for a lot of you that they have been, they have been uh, battling sadness. I wouldn't say addiction, like, you know, pile number two or pile number three, but there has been energy here of sadness with your person. The, the person's been very sad without you in their life. Okay. Going to pull three more cards here. Going to pull three more cards here. Okay. For number four, you could be seeing four, 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 eleven, eleven, one, one, one at this time. Okay. One, 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 two, 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 four, 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 seven, 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 eight, eight, eight. Okay, I'm getting like one, 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 eleven, eleven, one, yeah. Like you could be seeing crazy synchronicity. You know why? You know why? Because this person's trying to manifest you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Magician card, major arcana. Number one, this person is trying to manifest you, number four. Oh, my goodness. That's why you have the heart. <laughs> Out of all the piles, you have the heart, literally. You know, your heart, their heart belongs to you. That's their message. Their heart, their heart belongs to you. You have the key to unlock their feelings, their their hopes all wrapped in one. So this person is asking you to ask for a sign. Oh my goodness. I just said the synchro the synchronicity is crazy because I just said I got chill. I just said I'm picking up 1111 7777 888. And then we have the card of ask for a sign. So this person is sending you their energy through symbolism, through numbers. Wow. This person is sending you their energy. This person is a mega manifester. Your person is a mega manifester. Okay. Your person really knows how to manifest something into reality. You know, nothing into something overnight. This person could be, you know, very well off. Okay, I will be very well off in the near future. This person, your person, will be extremely financially abundant, I see here. Could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio, okay? It could be also an Aries, Sun, Sagittarius, Moon, okay? It doesn't have to be the exact place. I'm just saying those are what I'm picking up, okay? Virgo, Sun, Scorpio, Sun, Taurus, Sun. This person is manifesting you. They are tuning into your... Your energy, they're trying to they're trying to tweak the energy here to see when they can come back, okay? When they can actually propose, marry you, okay? This person is thinking long term only, not short term. It's all long term. I see here for number four for your pile, okay? So they accept you. You know, your person does accept you for who you are. And they want the same in return, okay? Your person, when they come back, when things get to a better place, they also want this, okay? They also want acceptance from you. This could happen on a full moon, a new moon, okay? This person could come back on a full moon, a new moon. Wow, wow, look at that. I said full moon. 
I said full moon, full moon in Capricorn, okay? Look out for full moon in Capricorn. So when this person comes back, it could be full moon in Capricorn. Boom. Yes. So this person, I do feel wants to tell you that they could have had they could have had other people um <clears throat> fighting for their attention. I feel this person wants to tell you they could have had multiple people trying to get their attention or, or distract them from you, but it didn't work, okay? Because they have attraction only for you. So if you're worried about a third party, if you're worried about it, you know, if, if there was a third party, okay, if there if there was a third party, that person's out of the equation, okay? Um they are single. Your person is single and they only have eyes for you. Okay. You know, all this time, seven of cups, you were an option. Okay. Maybe you, maybe at the, in the past there was other people, but it's like, you were always the one you see what I'm saying. You were always the main option. You were never just a side entree. Okay. Or a soup and salad. Okay. You were always the main entree, so to speak. Okay. Metaphorically to them, they always saw you as the prize, the goal. So if there was a history of, you know, in and out, third party, you know, messing around, that's done now. That's done now. And this person wants you to accept the new them. Okay. This person's going to come in. I feel like a, a different person, you know, more mature, more open to be with you long term. You know, the attraction, the attraction number four between you and this person is so, so strong. Okay. The attraction is so strong. And this person wants you to also share your knowledge and wisdom with other people, including them. Okay. They want, they want this energy. I feel here of like a co-collaboration energy where, you know, they give, they give a little bit, you give a little bit. So if there's issues in the past of um, a balance with the energy or just, you know, love making or anything like that. They, they're now going to correct that. Okay. I'm hearing they're going to be looking at, looking at it from a more balanced approach. Cause this person could have had selfish ways. I feel in the past, this person could have been selfish in the past. This person could have been selfish in the past, but now they're different. Okay. There are different. So it's just a matter of time. So number four, they want you to know that they're going to come back. They're going to communicate with you because you have their heart and it's plain to see that no one compares to you. Their attraction for you is off the charts. Their attraction for you is out of this world. And when you're with them, you know that you feel that, okay, the person can't get their hands off of you. Okay, that's how you know this is the person I'm talking about. This person could not get their hands off of you, okay? They just could not stop themselves. So if you ever want to know if they're near, if it's a twin flame, if you ever want to, if you ever want to, if they're near or not, if they're actually connecting with you energetically, they're asking you to ask for a sign. So if this is somebody who connects with you, like on the 5D, 3D, like this is really like deep. Okay. Look at the, just like the energy of the car is like, this is really, really just ethereal. Okay. So this person is saying to you, if you ever doubt their love for you, if you ever doubt that they're not with you. They're telling you, ask for a sign. The universe will give them a sign to give you because their love for you is that sure that you can ask for a sign and you will get it. So if you've been seeing 1111, 777, 444, that is your sign. Okay. And they are co collaborating with the universe to send you signs to show you that, hey, I'm coming back. I'm going to message you. We're going to get married. Hello. Like it's going to happen. Okay. So yes, number four, number four, you have the right. You definitely have the right to be excited because this is a sure thing. Okay. A sure thing. Unless you change your mind and they change their mind and go back to somebody else, which I don't see here. But if, if you choose to, the viewer, if you choose to, that will be the only difference is if you actually remove yourself and go somewhere else. But besides that, besides that, this person's yours. You have their heart. They're trying to manifest you. They want you back. And this person is on a mission. They're using all their tools, all their itinerary to get to you, okay? Through signs and symbols, through numbers. They're really like on the same wave as you for sure. This also could be, I feel a soul connection. I don't say that very loosely, but this could, this could definitely be, uh, 
soulmate, twin flame. It's just very pure energy. Very, very pure. Okay. So all the best number four. I hope you enjoyed that. This is your channel message from your person. Uh, I will see you on the next video. Okay. Feel free to like subscribe and share for any other pick card readings, Zodiac readings, celebrity readings, the whole nine yards. I'm wishing you all a fabulous, 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 healthy and safe month. And if you'd like to get in contact with me for your own personal and private love reading, my email will be in the box below, okay? I will see you on the next video. Bye!